In this video, I'm going to show you how to eliminate this white space that's around your imported uh, file. And this is a PNG file, and I can see that it's got the cut line in place. Um, but again, it's not going to matter one way or the other with this particular method to get rid of this white space. So first of all, you don't have to. Uh, this image, uh, you'll see that when I move my mouse away, I can't even see it. That's because it doesn't, it's just, it's based on the original document area in whatever program created and exported this PNG file. And it does, and again, it doesn't affect anything. For example, I could bring this all the way up here and print my image or have it over here and print the image. Or I could even have it overlapping, like say a duplicate of it, as long as I can still see the part I want to print. It doesn't matter that the two, the, you know, the two white areas are overlapping one another. However, I realize it kind of drives you crazy. You don't like seeing it there. I don't like seeing it there either when there's this much of it around there. So I'm going to show you how to crop this down. So over on your layers panel, open it up and then select just the print layer. Make sure the cut layer is not selected, just the print layer. And then click on this icon up here to go to the trace image window. And then in this window, you're going to immediately you know, see your image over here. And then for a few settings that you're going to be re a tracing this item for a print and cut, make sure you have monochrome mo uh, mode selected and then click on the blackout option and then click on update preview. And then that's going to sh show you what the, what the cut lines are. I'm going to drag this down and I can see it's the cut line. Now, if I didn't see like that nice continuous cut line, then I might need to increase um, the, the contrast setting or if I'm picking up a lot of extra kind of like little extra lines right along, I may need to decrease. That's kind of rare though with uh, when you have a, an image like this that was a PNG import, they tend to be pretty high quality and also they typically have transparent backgrounds. But anyhow, I can see that, okay, I've got the cut line I want. Now I just want to get rid of all this extra uh, image area. So the way to do that is to come over to this edit mode men menu and select crop. And then you'll see these little bars and you can just drag these down so that basically it's just going to eliminate all that extra area around the outside, just like that. And if you really want to kind of, you know, really kind of go to extremes with it, you can then, you know, you can zoom in here, right? And then come over and then, you know, make it even less. But be careful because you want to make sure that you don't end up cutting off any part. Look for the part that sticks up the highest, which does seem to be his head here. And so you can come way down. But then again, don't come all the way down where you're crossing anything. Give it just a little bit of room there. Okay, so that looks good. And then I do the same thing. I zoom back out and then, you know, again, make sure all of these are close and then zoom in. So you zoom in and out until you get it exactly the way you want it. And then over here, don't forget to click on add image layer because you're basically, you've got a new image that you're using. You're not, you're going to get be getting rid of this one. So you want to uh, make sure you're adding that new one and then click on OK. And when I do that, I have it makes the image larger just because it cropped away that extra space. And so now it wants to fill that space of the image. So this one now you can just delete. And now then you're ready to go. Basically, you have your larger image that you can now resize. And if you look over here, you've got your cut line that you, uh, let's turn off the print line and you should be able, yep, you can see the cut line layer. And then of course, in there you go to the style panel and do the assignments you want, and make duplicates and anything else you want to do. So if you have any questions or if you have any problems with using this technique, be sure and let me know.